Configuring forwarders. In this section, we'll configure universal forwarders. We'll identify additional forwarder options that work for both universal and heavy forwarders, and then we'll configure a heavy forwarder in our demo. For a recap, universal forwarders only forward data. They don't search or parse data. They're very lightweight quote unquote agents that sit on servers and other machines and simply forward data. On the other hand, heavy forwarders are a full installation of Splunk Enterprise, and then you apply a forwarder license. You can log into Splunk Web on heavy forwarders and tell it to parse data and route it based on specific rules. Heavy forwarders can also index data locally. Configuring universal forwarders. There are five steps to configure universal forwarders. First of all, we configure receiving on an indexer or an indexer cluster or an indexer search head. Then we download and install the universal forwarder on the remote system. And of course we have to start the universal forwarder and accept the license agreement. Then we configure the universal forwarder to send data. In a Windows environment, when you install the universal forwarder, you actually do this as part of the installation wizard. In a Linux environment, you have to do it through the command line. And finally, we configure the universal forwarder to collect data from the host it is on. So first we configure it to send the data, then we configure it to collect the data that it's going to send. And again, in Windows, this is all done through the wizard. In Linux, we're going to do it either through the command line or by editing the conf files directly. There are four options to configuring universal forwarders through the GUI, which is what I explained about Windows. This is done during the installation wizard. We can do it through the command line interface on Linux and Windows. We can edit the configuration files directly, or we can use a deployment server, which we will go over later on in the course. Configuring heavy forwarders. The basic configuration for a heavy forwarder is not much different from an installation of Splunk Enterprise. We install Splunk Enterprise, we apply a forwarder license, and then we set up forwarding. We go to settings, forwarding and receiving, and then add new, and then configure forwarding. Or we can edit the outputs.conf file directly. As I said before, we can also do some advanced configuration on heavy forwarders. We can ask the forwarder to index data before it forwards it. And we can do this through the Splunk web, through settings, forwarding and receiving. And you simply check the box that says store and maintain a local copy of the indexed data on the forwarder. Or this can all be configured through outputs.conf.